Bonjour, good afternoon, and thank you for being here with us today. I'm Akiko Shirai, and I've been doing research and development in real live entertainment since 1995. Recently, I'm working in Green Brewery Studio Lab as a director who promotes advanced research and technologies in VR live entertainment industry. Hi, I'm Mila, and I'm a master's degree student studying anthropology and Japanese culture at the Geneva University. I will be assisting Dr. Shirai with today's presentation. Today we will be presenting on the topic of virtual YouTubers that you are commonly called VTubers. Originating in Japan, VTubers are 2D and 3D computer generated avatars controlled by individuals and company used to broadcast entertainment content. So let's present myself by my avatar. This is my favorite one. Come on, like that. So this is very kawaii. This is generated by my mobile phone. So uh, it works on my mobile phone and also oh, everyone can generate uh, by reality our service. Over the last couple of years, VTubers changed the way we interact online and the physical world. VTubers are most often found in live entertainment or on YouTube as virtual video bloggers. However, from a research perspective, VTubers can be recognized as a new form of a human. VTubers may interest those involved in anthropology, technology, education, and research. VTubers' development hint at the next generation of human beings, I believe. The goal of the presentation is to achieve two things. One, to explain the history, process, and technology behind VTubers and its live entertainment. And second, to report several VTuber-driven research case studies. VTubers are one of the driving force behind the technological and human expression in the avatar-driven society. VTuber will bring us users, audiences, researchers, and virtual performance to the next generation with the presence, technologies, and creative content. Avatar society is the current state of the digital and virtual environment in metaverse like VR chat, where avatars do not serve the only purpose of virtual presence but become co workers, entertainers, idols, and researchers. Virtual reality and virtual reality content played an important role in the development of VTubers. In the last decade, VR went through four stages. In 1968, the Sword of Democrats was the first head-mounted system and was only available in Satellite Lab. The first VR craze came in the 1990s. I defined it as VR 2.0 generation with the improvement in the technology with the graphic workstations, purchasable HMD, but it was very, very expensive and data growth. However, the VR developmental development was limited in laboratories with significant budget. Actually, VR 2.0 was a stage of hibernation and there were no significant users without concrete industries. Hereafter, mobile technology and entertainment content like video games have developed, making 3.0 the age of VR democratization and innovations carried out with commercial purpose. VR 3.0 was developed by game engineers and by interest in personal activities thanks to game engines like Unity and over Unreal engines, researchers and developers began asking why VR is needed and what it can bring. This may lead to VR 4.0, which is a human ecosystem where people build commands, blockchains, AI, and SNS, 
that go beyond current social networks in Japan. Here we have some real developers, but avatar-driven society has been the driving force behind the new industry structure. More than the human system and applicative interaction in real environment, while cohabiting the real and virtual world. In VR 4.0, virtual being and virtuous bring us to the new stage from reincarnations of virtual reality. Several real content led to the development of virtual YouTubers. Device platforms such as mobile VR, location VR, and PC and console VR devices combined with character communication VR, social or multiplayer VR, and casual action VR gradually led to what came to be known as the VTubers. By consequence, one could say that VTubers are products of research and development in the VR and entertainment industry. Actually, 3D character making which contain design, modeling, rigging, physics, simulation for hair and crosses, shaders, facial expressions, optimization for real time, costumes, fashions. That is the most cost consuming part in VR game development. In the other part, VR system used for VTuber activities are high performance PC with common VR equipment that have become easily available thanks to consumer HMD and game engines. VTubers can be individuals who act out on their own, or they can be virtual characters with specific work stories commissioned by companies. In the case of individuals acting out on their own, VTubers' identities emerge from desires to express themselves, have fun, socialize, embody, and interact through a 3D virtual character. Vichibas act and sound just like people, also they take on anime-like appearance, like me. To illustrate the context between virtual idol and Vichibas, we need to dig a decade of Hatsune Miku. Mira can explain about it greater than me. Please, give a talk. Hatsune Miku is sometimes described as VTuber's predecessor. Hatsune Miku, translated as the first sound of the future, first appeared in 2007 as a vocal synthesizer software created by Krypton Future Media, employing the Yamaha software engine called Vocaloid. Miku's voice is created from the voice samples of Japanese voice actress Fujita Saki. The illustrated cave designed the iconic illustration of a girl with two quads ponytails as Miku's avatar. Since her birth, Miku has been engaging with fans, creators, music composers, animators, choreographers, and dancers. Ten years later, Kizuna Ai was born during a time when the Japanese entertaining business was experiencing a paradigm shift. Kizuna Ai has 3D anime-like appearance, is voiced by a human voice actor, and identifies as a super artificial intelligence called VTuber. She became popular almost instantly and engendered a VTuber boom in Japan. By the end of 2018, the number of VTubers exceeded 8,000, with the majority coming from Japan and East Asia. The latest research on VTubers showed the emergence of the VTuber scene in Europe, Southeast Asia, India, and South and North America. On this slide, you can see the pipelines of VTuber activity. The performer wears a motion tracking suit and gloves. The motion is recorded and analyzed by motion interpretation software. At the same time, iPhone X 2 depth facial capture captures the facial expressions. The footage is then rendered in real-time streamed via of the S Studio. 
and finally broadcast it on YouTube or reality app on your mobile phone. Also, it's possible to become a VTuber by using the same reality app. Motion tracking devices enable greater control over full body movement of the VTuber character. Expressions like singing, dancing, gaming, fighting, and play a gymnastic performance. An app like Reality that you see playing in the background enables users to become virtual characters without using a head mounted display system. Reality is for avatar only live entertainment platform created by Lightfire Live Entertainment FLE, its a subsidiary of Glee Incorporated, and available on Japanese App Store or Google Play. Our slogan is reality, be yourself you want to be, and caters to people who desire for a 3D avatar and want to communicate with their audience without the hardware or software requirements than a smartphone. Basically, with reality, everyone can become their own virtual with a mobile phone. Reality was created to enable a live entertainment system stuff with real-time computer-generated characters. The platform not only allows interaction with the audience and VTubers using professional motion capture studio, but also encourages community interactions among virtual beings within a culture that is moving toward an avatar society. Among the others, Reality broadcasts official professional live programs with VTuber music talent. Now that we have established the meaning of VTubers, we would like to present several relevant technologies by VTuber results and then talk about four case studies. The exaggerated facial expressions of avatars that you see playing in the video are a new form and figure of emoji. In avatar society and among VTubers, facial expressions are great importance as they have verbal and non-verbal communications and impressions of VTubers. This deep learning technologies collect data from VTubers facial expressions and translate in into facial recognition and a new form of emoji. Koeuranai obtain voice changer data from public. Koeuranai, translated as a voice fortune teller, is a voice changer application available on a web browser. Users can choose their favorite voice they want to become between 13 different VTuber and avatar characters, and you can't choose to be born a boy or a girl. So, what would you do if you could transform yourself into the person you want to be? What would you say and to whom? This is the main message and concept behind Koyurai. The goal of the application is to collect voice changer data from the public and improve the quality of voice changing software by offering a fun experience for users to enjoy and share. Live share, haptic sharing for which you are live play. Gaming is an uh, integral part of the avatar culture. It's not uncommon to witness VTubers live stream their gaming sessions during which the audience interact with each other with VTubers in the comment section of VTube. Unfortunately, when VTubers live stream or play games, it became extremely difficult to concentrate on their activity and read the audience comment at the same time. In same time, moreover, while the VTubers or user play games, or the audience can only sit back and tear on them. 
They cannot really participate actively in the game along with the player of which From this demand emerged VibeShare, a haptic technology that connects the audience and the players. With the haptic simulation, VibeShare transmit to the players their audience reactions and emotions in live time. In other words, VibeShare is haptic sharing which is a live play. For example, with VibeShare, the audience can guide players during a game, touch their hair, or help them discover unseen locations and objects. By telling the player to go right, left, or forward, the audience can guide them to hit a pinata. Pinata is called as a suikawari in Japan. We would now like to present four case studies of which were involvement in Delta Graphics Interactively Research and Development, Education, and Elementary School Game. Mira, please give your talk. 観客はプレイヤーの実力を踏まえてスコアが最大となるよう適切なコメントを行うという競技性が生まれ観客の集団がプレイヤーの仲間となって競い合う新しい形のイースポーツが生まれます仲間という関係性を観客と気づくライブ
research on the subject of VR chat and reasons for its popularity. Yasushi Ishii presented a short distance interaction experience with an avatar using a stationary presentation device that imitated a mirror. The winner of the competition, Yuto Karashige, developed a hand tracking device for VTubers. Yuitak researched on the subject of fashion and more specifically casual wear in virtual reality. Ludmila Bridikina researched on the differences and similarities between Japanese and Western VTuber communities. VTubers, an avatar society, connects researchers and students from different fields and with different interests. VTech Challenge was held at the end of February, during the beginning of the COVID-19 epidemic in Japan. Due to the prevention measures for health security, the public venue was closed. However, the online distribution of the contest via the reality platform allowed a wider range of spectators to enjoy the event, engage in discussions and vote on virtual gifts for the participants. Facial animated avatars and transformed voice can be effective tools in e-learning. In recent years, educational institutes introduced e-learning courses as a supplement to already existing courses. This case study evaluated the performance of e-learning videos featuring VTuber avatars and transformed audio compared to traditional lecture videos. 186 students from the Fundamental Programming class at the Information Science Department of Kanagawa Institute of Technology participated in this experiment from April 2019 to July 2019. Every Friday, students were assigned to watch a video material from the six videos under controlled conditions, which were labeled by avatar style, real face, and voice transformated or not. Due to the popularity of anime characters amongst Japanese youth, particularly female anime-style characters, the research team hypothesized students' preference for videos featuring avatar A or B in a male-majority class. Students did prefer avatar B, that is the female style. However, those who watched e-learning content with Avatar B did not have the best performance according to their grades. This research contributes to the development of the next generation of e-learning programs using motion trackers, avatars and audio. Avatars and the technology behind VTubers have the potential to become live interactive indication environments where students can choose the visual appearance and voice of their preferred teaching agents. At the beginning of this year, VTubers were used during a special elementary school class in Japan to demonstrate VTubers' potential in the domain of education. Sixth grade students designed the layout and the questions of an escape game. Once all the preparations were over, children were separated into groups. Each group had to design a VTuber avatar using reality application and Microsoft Teams. That avatar served as a representative of each group and children used the created VTuber personas to interact with other groups during the quest. In the heads of sixth graders, VTubers became a new form of joruri. Joruri is a form of traditional Japanese narrative music in which a taiyu, a non-theater actor, sings to the accompaniment of a shamisen, a three-stringed traditional Japanese musical instrument. Joruri is a form of storytelling that emphasizes the lyrics and narration rather than the music itself. Just as the narrator of Joruri recites a story, Children use the VTuber avatar to recite and narrate the story of a game quest they designed. But these avatars did not only serve narrative purposes, they also protected children's identity. By using a VTuber avatar, 
It was not the children who directly played a robot or an artificial intelligence persona, but the avatar. By consequence, when children had to interact with other groups as their cold-hearted persona, other children did not associate the cold-hearted persona to any of their classmates, but regarded it as a fictional character. In other words, VTubers have given an opportunity to recognize a clear dissociation and role-playing between the played robot, artificial intelligence, or cold-hearted agent, and the children's real identity. As we have described with some evidences, human social interactions and commands will be a heart of the VR 4.0 era. Even if head mounted devices will be enhanced or not. Today, we presented a recent VTuber driven trend, research, and development in the field of avatar society. Japanese avatar society drives various forms of technology, communication, and commerces between audience and performers. It's not only for past entertainment like game or video sharing, but also live entertainment and pedagogical purpose. The goal of today's presentation is to bridge the gap between Western and Japanese cultures. We would like to realize together a future for all of us in the avatar society and create a global environment driven by collaborations no longer limited to the regional cultures and physical presence. Which of us have a potential to bring all of us the next generation with presence technology and live entertainment content? Technologies can help us to be present as a new form of being. Currently, we are working for the stage of avatar society and trying to give an answer to the questions of who can work in VR? Who can work in VR? Like me. So which of us can work in VR and be released from the physical limitations and extend human possibilities? Thanks for being here with us today. And be yourself. You want to be. Ciao.